Okay, so these are two by eights that we use for the base frame. These can be for the box beam, but we're going to make them into two by fours, so we've got to split them in, uh, split them in half. So we're going to do that now. Okay, it turns out that our noggins, this is, even though we measured it, I don't know what this is, this is just slightly under five centimetres, um, and that meant that we are well, five mil under, that means we're a centimetre short in here, but luckily this is an 11 mil board, so it fits in nicely, so we will do that, then we'll cut these off. Okay, so we straightened the walls as much as, uh, much as I think we need to. Next step is <coughs> putting, in the, putting in the holes so that we can, on, on the base here, so we can put the rope around and tie the box beam to the base. So that is the next thing. We're going to use, uh, I'm not sure you saw, <laughs> We're going to use the holes that we use that we put in for the um, for the stakes, the little slots, to go in. But then we need to drill a hole on the inside where the rope's going to come up. So we have to find those find those slots and then find a corresponding point inside. This is essentially how high the, the ceiling is going to be, the roof is going to be. Um, not exactly situated like this but anyway so we're going to put the <coughs> ties you can see a hole there we have to stuff that for the sort of straw but we're going to put two down the back one in this bale one in the bale next to it and you're going to put one in the middle on the sides and then one either side of this we might put one in the middle we'll see how we go so find those three holes or three holes that are near to them and then find the insides so the issue is we want to be able to obviously get the, the hole right under the bale so that we're not kind of compromising any space on the inside, or not too much space on the inside anyway. So it's got to be right up tight into there. The shape of the bales mean it's not too difficult, but uh, we'll see how we do. It's a few days um, later after we've done playing with the box beam and stuff and started drilling our first few holes and we had a bit of a storm I don't know if you can see me in here the light not, might not be great and we put this roof on kind of it's just a makeshift roof it's just planks um, but as you can see by you might be able to see by here didn't do a great job at keeping the rain out it seems to have pulled on one of these. I don't know why. There must be a hole in the tarp across above this. Um, 
So all this, thankfully, it's just the center that's the issue. It's not, it's just, it's just this pile of wood in the middle that was gonna be drying. Thankfully, it's, it'll be okay. But, and also, I can't, I'm not sure you can see this, but coming in, there's a great big hole in the floor. This is where there's a join. Again, the, this, the light is gonna be really bad down here, but this is where there's a join between the boards, but something's chewed a great big hole in here. I'm guessing it's a rat. There's not much else that would do that, to be fair. Um, we're going to put another layer of flooring. This is just the subfloor, but shows that they're willing to chew through the wood to get in here. There's no food in here. It's just straw, but um, I guess it's sheltered. I don't know why they would chew there, though. We've finally got some nice weather today and it's going to be wet, nice for the rest of the week. So the tarps are off and it is finishing the the box beam that goes across here we've got some of the wood there and then as i mentioned we're going to resize the door down to that down to that line there so take it down five centimeters do the beams on these shorter sides here the box beam is going to join across the top with a board and it's going to be screwed into the side of the door up here so we're going to do this one and then this one and then we'll do the ones that join them across the middle. base of the, uh, the box beam so we've got a kind of overlapping joint here this isn't this isn't in yet but that's going to go there there's a little bit of a gap there but oh well and then there's going to be yeah noggins at the end of each beam and in the middle we're also going to have these in the middle of here and then two on on those ones in the middle where we're going to put stakes and attach the stakes to the to the box beam so we've already done that back one which you've seen so a bit more sawing, then we're ready to put this on. Then we're gonna attach the stakes in and then we're gonna obviously put the top on, which is the other, other board. So down to that. Okay, so we've cut the, cut the noggins and put them in. So we're gonna, where every noggin's gonna be in the middle here is where a stake's gonna be and then it's gonna screw into, into these. So before we screw these in, it's wedged in, we're gonna put a circular, circular hole in the base. Then screw them in, and we're gonna leave them in sections to then put on top in sections and screw in place, otherwise we have to put the whole thing in one. So. That's, uh, that's next. This is what it's going to look like. Um, with this across the door, fixing the door to the box beam, and the, this is also screwed from the, the wood into the box beam there, to the door. Yeah, that's it, and that's our overhang. It's not very big, but uh, that's what it's gonna be.
Okay, so have you seen, we've got the box beam up around the edges now. Interesting, because the box beam is square, exactly the same size as the base, but the bales, for example here, you can obviously see that the bales are tipping outwards, so we're not knock them in, even though I spent some time the other day trying to straighten them, obviously it hasn't worked. But now, next stage is to tie this, to tie this down once we've sorted out those bales. Um, so we're just threading the blue rope through and then we can uh, begin the tying. Okay, so with this, we're gonna tie, oh, we're gonna tie a loop in the end of this one. Hoping it's left enough spare. Put this through there, pull that to be tight, and then we're going to tie a, another knot here. Now, this is pulling against itself. Yeah. Oh, my my, my huge weight. Okay. Okay. That's nice to get. That's how we do it. Like pretty quickly, but we've tied it down as you've seen across, and it's pretty much level there's a slight you can see there's I don't know 15 mil there and there's 10 mil there um, so there's not it's not too bad happy with that so now we're going to put the stakes in there and see what the lights like once we've done the stakes hopefully we can screw the stakes into the box beam and maybe even put the tops on we'll see how quickly this goes So my uh, other camera's run out of battery, so I'm using my phone camera, but just to show you how this box beam's kind of finishing, essentially. You've got the stakes coming down into the bales, which are then screwed into these noggins. And obviously they're tied down, I think tied down to the bales with the ropes. So, yeah, and then we put the boards on top. Okay, the light is definitely fading now, so let me just flip you around and show you. Of course, it's a bit windy. So this is the box beam. So that's the overhang, the roof on this side. This side is getting battening down, so that's the south, southwest that way. So it's battening on the outside boards, to weather boards even. Um, there's the box beam. Just got the last bit of the door to do where we've got to cut off the door the door is not actually straight so these are these are these are straight the door and frame is not at the moment so we're going to cut that and pull that straight but we're pretty much finished with that now so one little bit tomorrow morning to do but i think we'll call it for this video and um we'll see you on the next one when we're going to be putting the roof on all right